What's up YouTube, welcome back to the Foot Bassy channel. If it's your first time here then hello, welcome, thanks for joining. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show and enjoy another episode of Squad Battles. My first Squad Battles video was a couple of weeks ago which was how to beat Squad Battles on Ultimate. That video is the most watched video on this channel by a million miles. At the moment it's got what, 2,200 views? After that my most watched video has got I think 200 views, so 2,000 more views than anything else. You guys absolutely love that video so I thought I'd do another one and this video is going to be the easiest way to score in squad battles. I'm going to show you a few examples all from legendary difficulty literally over the last couple of days. I've just I've just worked out just how bloody easy it is to score so I thought I'd share that with you. If you like the content, if it's helpful, please drop a big old thumbs up, let me know down below. And remember everything I'm doing on this channel is all for charity. Again if you don't know what I'm talking about there's a link down below to the Footbassy intro video. Go and check that out. Right, let's get into it. This is a team that I've been using for most of my squad battles games. Let me show you the easiest way to score. Right, so right here, Florenzi cuts inside, little ball roll, runs diagonally towards the box, and then the simplest thing in the world, a fake shot. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, this video is about doing how to do a fake shot. Yeah, it is, right? There is a certain way playing against squad battles if you use the fake shot just the really simple fake shot circles uh, circle x on uh, on playstation just do a simple fake shot if you do it in a certain way at this angle it works every time so have a look what's happened here you you run in diagonally to the box the fake shot where the defender is tracking you basically the defender stops in his tracks and just won't catch up all you need to do is run diagonally towards the box do a fake shot run diagonally the other way and the defender will not catch you. Let, let me try to break it down again. So Florenzi, forget the ball roll, kind of irrelevant, but runs diagonally towards the box this direction, right? So you're running diagonally towards the box and you'll see, I think it's um, Iniesta who starts to, to starts to track me. So he will obviously start to run, not necessarily straight towards my player, but basically just trying to cut off the lane. So there he is, tracking me, tracking me, fake shot. And then just there, he has completely frozen. If you do this in anywhere in this kind of grey zone here, right, just run diagonally in this grey zone, do a fake shot, stop, run diagonally the other way towards the box, the defender will not catch you. Honestly, you might be thinking, that can't work every time, can it? It can, right? I, I am going to use this over and over again, as I have literally done in the last, well, kind of the last day, just playing my last kind of few games. It's been an absolute game changer for me. You just need to try it. So here we go. Let me show you again. Werner runs diagonally towards the box. Fake shot. Cut back inside. And just, the defender can't catch up. That's all it is. And there's something about doing this that um, usually you've got one defender tracking you. Now, there, there are occasions where um, the AI starts to really press you and you've got two or, the, two or three defenders. Actually, it's quite it's quite dangerous to do the fake shot then. Because if you, if you do the fake shot and you've got more than one defender tracking you, then the second one um, normally, pick, normally tackles you quite easily. But usually, probably I'd say, what, 75, 80% of the time, if you get the ball somewhere in the opponent's kind of final third, run diagonally towards the box, you'll just have that one defender who's tracking the space, do the fake shot, he will stop, run diagonally the other way, and it's, it, honestly, it's just so easy. Let's have a look at another example. So Son into Werner, diagonally towards the box, fake shot, back again, look at that, and just, just runs through the defenders. It's easy. Diagonally towards the box every single time. Fake shot outside of the box. Don't get too. Oh, I've done it inside the box. I'll show you one example in the box. But usually, just a few yards outside the box. Little fake shot and just switch direction. So hit, watch again. Werner diagonally. So we're going to show you in slow motion, right? There he goes. Just perfect angle. There's the fake shot. Defender absolutely sold. Can't catch up. He's off. And for some reason, when you do it, the other defenders just they they seem to. This is to slow down as well. Honestly, you just need to try this, guys. So the video I did last time was about how to beat um, score battles on Ultimate. I think using the techniques I talked about in that video, if you combine it with this, the easiest way to score in squad battles, you're going to be on a winner. Have a look at this one. This is a slightly different angle. So I haven't run diagonally there, but but just it also shows you that the the fake shot is. I think it, honestly against squad battles, it's just it's just so OP. So there, that wasn't the diagonal one, but there, there was a very, very slight angle to my run. You have a look now, right? So Callihan just starts to edge away there. Fake shot. Defender carries on, and then you just you just created the space. That's all you need to do. So watch the other video about how I beat squad battles on Ultimate. Combine the, the tips I've put in that video with this, the diagonal fake shot, 
and honestly guys I expect you all to be top 100. I uh, I haven't really played actually that much squad battles over the last couple of weeks. I think last week I finished Elite 3, uh, but I've probably played about 5-6 games over the weekend. This week I was adamant I wasn't going to play it. I'm actually, I've, I've got to be honest, I'm really not enjoying squad battles anymore. I don't I don't enjoy playing against the AI, AI at all. But having found this, I'm kind of thinking, you know what, I'm going to play it a bit more this week. Um, and I honestly think if I carry on pushing, carry on working, carry on doing this, run at the angle, do the fake shot, Solid defender, cut back inside. I think top 100 is a possibility. Anyway, there we go, guys. That's going to be it. That's the end of the video. Remember to smash a big old thumbs up. Tell your mates, get involved. And until next time, I will see you around. Good luck with your squad battles.